Hello and welcome to the Unit 11 Computer Networks LANs and WANs video. Uh, this will be a fairly short one this one, uh, we've got too much stuff to cover so let's get started. So what are LANs and WANs? They are both types of network, um, both types of computer network. The main difference between them um, is the size of them. Uh, one of them is generally used within a building, and um, one of them is you can be used worldwide, and the other um, difference is the way they're connected. So, LAN stands for Local Area Network, and WAN stands for Wide Area Network. So those two things, LANs and WANs. So, LANs, as you said, Local Area Network. Um, these are usually going to be based in the same room or building, so the college network is a LAN. All of the different computers are attached to each other, they go into switches which then attach to the computers in other rooms, and every single computer within the campus is attached to the local area network. There's probably only going to be one of those. Um, you generally connect them with cables. Um, We've talked about cables in the network components video, so you should have a rough idea about the different types of cable, but it's the Ethernet cable that's most commonly used, because they're nice and fast, nice and cheap, and fairly reliable. Um, but they'll be connected with Ethernet cables or whatever cable you're deciding to use. There is a possibility that you may connect some devices with wireless as well, like in the college, you're able to connect your device wirelessly. But on the whole, um, cables are the way to go and these are mainly used in things like offices or schools so you want to have all of your computers that you've got in your building attached to each other so you can have them on the network people can share resources all the different things that you normally need to do with the network um, and it's within one building so you stick with a LAN and you attach everything with cables um, and also quite a lot of homes have a LAN if you have a router and you have connected all of your devices to your router with an Ethernet cable, then that counts as a LAN. Also, if you connect your cables, uh, sorry, connect your router wirelessly, that also counts as a LAN because it's just a network within your house. So you have you will have your own private local area network in your house. Right, next bit that LANs. WANs. So WANs stands for Wide Area Network, as we said before. Um, in this one, the computers are going to be over a much bigger area. Remember, in a LAN, a local area network, it was only within one building. Um, with a wide area network, it can be across several buildings, it can be across the country, it can be across the world. It's, uh, you can connect to any single computer you want to. But to have the connection, you need to be connected across the internet. So both of the computers that you want to connect together or all the computers that you want to connect together need to have an internet connection, otherwise this method doesn't work. Um, often used by things like multinational companies, so if you've got banks, every bank will have its own local area network for a branch. It will then have a wide area network which connects that branch to all the other branches of that bank around the world. Um, and also used for online gaming. When you go onto your Xbox or your PS4 or whatever console or games thing you may be using and you're playing games online, you are using a wide area network because the people you're connected to are not in the same building. They're somewhere else, different country, um, different part of our country, wherever it may be. And the wider the network, the more problems you have as far as the speed is concerned. That's why generally, if you're playing an online game, you try and connect to a UK or a Europe server. You don't try and connect to one of the ones in Asia or Australia because you get a lot of drop down in the speed, which means you get a lag when you're playing the game. So that's LANs and WANs. Next thing, does your network have to be either a LAN or a WAN? Well, no, it doesn't. It can be a mixture of both. Um, quite a lot of them um, will be, so you'll have a, Local area network, like I said, you may have in your house. You've got uh, your TV and your computer and your Xbox and your phone. 
may all be connected to each other over the network uh, to share an internet connection, but you then play online games as well, which means you're connecting over a wide area network, so you're doing both. You have a local area network, but it has the possibility to connect to a wide area network. This is also a little bit like what I was saying beforehand with um, the office buildings in different branches of the bank. You have your local area network within your bank, you have a wide area network which then connects all the different banks branches together. So having both is relatively common. Another example, um, even more simple one, um, if you're at home and you have two Xboxes or two PS4s, whatever you want to use, um, and you've connected them together so you can play against each other, you've got a cable that connects the two um, that goes between you and maybe your router or your hub or however you connect things. So you've got a local area network with the, within those two um, consoles in your house. If you're then all both playing the same online game with other people in the country as well, the two of you are on a local area network together, but you're actually playing the game on a wide area network because it's connected to the internet. So you can have a mixture of two um, local area and wide area networks, but the main important thing is that you know the difference between them. So, thinking of differences between them, what are the differences between LANs and WANs? So we've covered a lot of it already, but just to summarise, so LANs, local area networks, they cover a limited area. So in other words, it will be within a building or a range of buildings that are all next to each other. Uh, you normally connect them with cables. Um, you can connect them via Wi-Fi, but cables are the most common way of doing it. And you have good, fast transfer speeds around your network. If you're using cables, cables have got very fast transfer speeds, Ethernet cables, fiber optic cables especially. You can whiz the data around your network, send it to the server, get it back from the server, send information to each other very, very quickly because everything is hardwired with a cable and it doesn't take too long. Um, you don't need to have an internet connection to run a LAN, um, it will work quite nicely with that one. But as I've said, you may have an internet connection as well, but the LAN on its own doesn't require one. Uh, but you are limited to just within your building, so cables can only be a certain length before they need to have uh, repeater stations in them because you start to lose the signal. So um, you're going to be limited by the length of the cables you can use. Um, and usually that's just, you limit yourself to just within one building on a local area network. So for a wide area network, um, these ones you can connect to computers all over the world. It doesn't have to be within the same building. You can connect to people in Australia, China, wherever. But you do need to have an internet connection because that's how you connect to them. You connect over the internet. So the advantage of that is that you can connect to lots of different people. The disadvantage of that is that the transfer speed of the data between you and the network is going to be limited by your internet connection speed. So if you have a slow connection speed, you won't be able to get that information very quickly. So, if you have, so for instance, if you have a very slow internet connection speed, you can't do online gaming very well because you get quite a lot of lag. On the other end of the spectrum, you could have a super fast internet connection if the person that you're connected to doesn't have a fast internet connection, it will still be very slow. So you're always going to be limited by the slowest internet connection on that network, which may not be a problem depending on where you're working, but if you've got people maybe connecting on their mobile phones from a remote location, they've only got 3G or 4G, then that's obviously going to be an awful lot slower than it would be if you were just connected straight into your fibre broadband. Uh, so that's basically it. Local area networks, wide area networks, differences between them and what they are. Thanks very much. See you later.